It looks like the moment I decided to upload a video about my project, my day trading, swing trading strategy from $10,000 all the way up to $1 million, the crypto market, the entire crypto market decided to collapse. Anyway, so what did I do during this bearish movement in the crypto market? Let's recap real quick. All I wanted was 2% for the next 200 trades to bring my account from $10,000 all the way up to $1 million. And for all of you guys who haven't seen the first one, I started with $10,000 and I'm currently sitting at $19,000. A legit question most of you guys probably have is how much money did you lose during this bearish market? The answer is none. The reason why I didn't lose any money is because I am not invested in the market right now. My entire strategy is to purchase a coin and sell it immediately after I get my 2% gain on the investment. So last week, the only thing that I lost was time. I didn't make a single trade during this downtrend for one specific reason. I am not a financial advisor. You should not listen to my advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. And on top of that, I have no idea how long this bearish market is gonna last. The new support level for Bitcoin could be around 40 to 42 thousand dollars. Currently on Sunday, we are around 44 thousand dollars. So I'm still waiting to see what's gonna happen within the next week. If we hit the $40,000 and we're gonna stay around the $40,000 mark and we don't drop any further, I might go back into trading and um, work on the 2% per trade. And of course, there's no doubt I missed out on a lot of opportunities during the last week. Um, during this downtrend, there were a bunch of rebounds, but again, uh, I, I just started this journey and I don't want to risk $19,000 just to hope for a 2% gain. I didn't understand the charts, which was one rule for me that I only purchase a coin when I know the charts look favorable for me. They didn't look favorable for me at all. And I wasn't, um, I would say educated enough to read the chart better to make those 2% gains even in a downtrend. Here's why I'm not concerned about not trading this money for one entire week. First of all, it's a side project for me or a side hustle. So I do not rely on that income from trading. Therefore, I'm not in a rush to gamble with $19,000 and hope for the best. I'd rather wait another week and observe the market and see if we have, if the bear market continues or if we can stabilize at a $40,000 mark. Um, and possibly even see an uptrend. I had a conversation with a crypto fund manager and I asked him about his opinion on Bitcoin. He was very positive and he was basically welcoming this discount on Bitcoin right now. When you listen to people talk about Bitcoin, even big companies, big investors, big uh, fund managers, they all talk about you know doubling down on Bitcoin, purchasing even more. So. For me, as a retail investor, it sounds like everybody's still bullish on Bitcoin and this is just a 20-30% correction. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. I have no idea what's going to happen. This is just my assumption. So yeah, a lot of people bought the dip. They think that $45,000 is already the dip and that's the lowest it will get. For me personally, I don't have millions of dollars to just spend and like, you know, let them sit in there. Um, for me, I'm going to wait and see, maybe it's going to drop to 40,000. If not, if there is an uptrend, yeah, then I missed the bottom, but you will never, you know, get in at the perfect time. This is just not going to happen. Also, another important thing is that those individuals have millions of dollars that they can just put into Bitcoin and that's not their life savings. So for them investing $1 million into Bitcoin is probably the, the same as you know, a thousand dollars for you and I. So although we have seen a big correction of how much is it now? It is 10, 14, 14, 15 thousand dollars. Um, people are still bullish on Bitcoin and they just accumulate more. They buy and buy and buy and buy, which also makes me want to buy one and hold it for the long term. But this has nothing to do with this project of the day trading, the 2%. But I just want to be transparent. I might, if we drop to 40,000, I might buy in and uh, get myself uh, a beautiful Bitcoin. Where does that leave me with my journey? I was looking into different opportunities to just stake my money or my cryptocurrency while I'm not trading it because I don't want to leave my money just, you know, dead in my wallet where it's not doing anything. You got to put that money to work. Am I right? And here's how I get paid for owning cryptocurrency. Yes, uh, you can also get paid on stable coins, which my money is in right now. Before I tell you where I put my money, I just want to make sure that you understand that this is not a sponsored post or a brand deal. Um, this is just a, a website, a company that I believe in. 
where I put my money, where I feel safe, where I can go to bed and I feel good about you know my my funds but before you put any money into that company please do your own due diligence and make sure you trust it as well so the company is called nexo.io so nexo allows people to borrow money against their own cryptocurrency holdings which means you can take out a loan against your bitcoin but you do not have to sell your bitcoin because as soon as you sell an asset with the profit that's a taxable event if you just loan against your Bitcoin, there's no tax, which is amazing. I don't want to confuse you with taxes, but basically Nexo allows you to take out a loan against your Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency holdings, which is then taken as a collateral. So in case you cannot pay back your uh, your loan, they will just seize that um, Bitcoin. Let's just take that as a, an example, sell that so they are at zero. And obviously with every loan, you have to pay interest on the money that you borrow. And that's how Nexo makes money. On the other side, as an investor, if you give them your money that you just place into your own wallet, you can make up to 12% in dividends per year. And the reason why I like Nexo so much is because the dividends are getting paid every single day, which means technically after the first day where you get dividends, the next day you already get dividends on your dividends. This is called compound interest or the eighth wonder of the world, Albert Einstein. So this is an amazing way for me to store my cryptocurrency while I'm not actively trading it um, or even my other positions. I just, you know, keep in there to make some money. Obviously on those $19,000, I'm not going to make a lot of money in dividends, but I'd rather take a dollar here and there than absolutely nothing. Another great thing is uh, your funds are not frozen, which means I can just withdraw my money anytime I want. Within a couple seconds, everything is set up and then you just wait a minute or two and then you have your funds back in your Binance account. So what am I gonna do for next week? Uh, I'm not gonna force myself to purchase a coin and get in there if I don't fully believe um, the trend is at least stable. And it doesn't have to be bullish, but just stable. Uh, I don't want to trade in the bearish market because I have never traded in the bearish market. So I want to observe it, see how it, you know, works um, before I invest $19,000 and just, you know, maybe it's gone. But I think it's very funny that I said in the first video, I always go out because I want to avoid a drop of 40 or 50%. And that's basically what happened. To sum up this video, I am still 200 trades short of reaching the $1 million, but I'm very proud of myself for not, you know, giving into the temptation of just getting in there when it bounced back a little bit because I obeyed my own rules and only got in there when I fully trusted the pattern and I knew what I was doing. I am really excited for next week. I don't know what I would like, you know, to see. Um, if there's a massive drop, a, a bigger correction, I would, I think I would appreciate the drop so I can get into Bitcoin a little bit lower, but at the same time for my other project, obviously the 2% day trading project, I would appreciate a constant, you know, I don't want to say flat, but like kind of bullish flattish uh, market for the next week. I want to end this video with a question for you guys. Uh, I just heard and learned about NFTs and I'm not too sure about how I think about it. I need to do way more research, but guys, let me know. Are you guys interested in NFTs? Do you guys invest in it? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.